We know from statistics that more truck accidents occur on slippery, wet, icy winter roads than they do on dry summer roads. What this means then is that truck drivers are required to have a greater heightened sense of what is going on when the roads are slippery. Stands to reason most truck drivers know this. Today's video is sponsored by drivingtest.org. What most truck drivers don't know is that more and more insurance companies and courts are finding the driver at fault if they lose control on slippery roads when the cruise control is engaged. The insurance companies and the police will go in and take the truck ECM and analyze it to see if the cruise control was engaged when the truck lost traction and slid into the accident. And the police will charge truck drivers with loss of control of the vehicle. And I agree with that, and here's why. When the driver engages the cruise control, he is disengaging from his control of the fuel feed and turning it over to the truck and locking that fuel feed open. So with the cruise control on, the truck proceeds forward, hits an icy patch, or goes into a slippery corner and it fails to recognize what human drivers would recognize is that they need to ease off on the fuel. But the cruise control can't do that. So the truck proceeds forward, it starts to slip, slide, get out of shape, and goes into a jackknife position with the weight of the trailer and the momentum of the trailer pushing it the whole time. Some drivers, when they figure out that they're out of shape and it's because of the cruise control, stomp on the brake to disengage the cruise or to help slow the truck down and this in turn makes the jackknife problem even worse. Combine this with a truck that has an automatic transmission that is automatically turning the drives and this compounds the problem. And I haven't even thrown auto braking into this mix. Engaging the cruise control can place some drivers in a certain, a certain sense of complacency because they're turning more of the driving over to the truck itself and then they fail to pay astute attention to what's going on around them. They relax a little more and they fail to watch the road conditions or the weather conditions or to be checking their mirrors to make sure the truck's not getting out of shape and this complacency can lead to a delayed reaction and lead to an accident. Drivingtest.org has developed an online course that will help you get your ELDT certification and help you pass your CDL knowledge exam. Guaranteed. Drivingtest.org is certified by the FMCSA and is recognized as America's number one online CDL course in America, bar none. Check them out at drivingtest.org. While today's trucks are easier to drive than ever before, today's weather conditions in the wintertime have not changed and are not any easier. And new technology is not always a friend with bad weather driving conditions. That's why they test these new self-driving trucks in Arizona on I-10 rather than in Yakima, Washington in the wintertime. Bottom line here, you should always be aware of what's going on around you when you're driving. And if you see or even sense that the road conditions have gone from bear dry to something else, shut off the cruise control. And I'm not talking about stomping on the brake pedal and disengaging it because the ELD may not recognize that as being disengaged. Take the time, shut off the switch that controls the feature, and that way there can be no misinterpretation of your intention when you use the switch to shut it off. Take total control of driving the truck when you're driving in bad weather. Stay safe. Remember, protect yourself, protect your license, protect the others around you, because if they can blame an accident on you, they will. Stay safe, keep the rubber side down. I'll see you on the backhaul.